Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to integrate Printful with Etsy to easily set up a print-on-demand dropshipping store. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. In my opinion, Printful is one of the best print-on-demand companies that you can use to build a dropshipping store. They offer all the standard products that you would expect, such as t-shirts and hoodies, and also many items that aren't available on other print-on-demand sites. You can add your designs to men's and women's clothing, various hat styles, accessories such as phone cases and jewelry, and even home and living items such as postcards and notebooks. Products on Printful can also be customized in many more ways than other platforms, such as the ability to add designs to shirt sleeves or adding your branding to apparel tags. Not only does Printful offer a wide selection of product options, but also easily integrates with all of the top e-commerce platforms and marketplaces to help you get started fast. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the process of integrating Printful with the popular e-commerce marketplace Etsy. By connecting Printful to Etsy, you can put your products in front of over 80 million active shoppers already browsing the Etsy marketplace. Once Printful is integrated with Etsy, you can easily create new products using the Printful product templates and publish new products to your Etsy shop with just a few mouse clicks. Integrating Printful with your Etsy shop will allow you to focus on marketing and creating awesome designs while Printful automatically fulfills your orders and ships the products to your customers. In order to perform the Etsy Printful integration, you'll first, of course, need to have an Etsy account. If you already have an Etsy account, go ahead and sign in. If not, let's go over how to quickly set one up. From the Etsy homepage, go ahead and look at the top right of the screen and click on Sign In. This will open up the Sign In pop-up menu, but if you look at the top right of the menu, you'll also see the Register button. If you're new to Etsy, go ahead and click the Register button and follow the steps to create your Etsy account. This will include filling in your profile information, setting up your shop, and setting up your billing and payment information. Setting up your Etsy shop will include things like naming your shop, uploading a profile image, and uploading a banner. As you can see, my shop currently doesn't have any products. So to solve this problem, let's go over how to integrate my Etsy shop with Printful to create a dropshipping print-on-demand store. From the Etsy homepage, let's look up at the top and click on your account drop-down menu. From the drop-down menu, let's go down and click on account settings. In order to use Printful with Etsy, we'll first have to add Printful as a production partner. To do this, let's look at our shop manager menu on the left hand side here and click on the settings tab. From here, you should see a tab that says production partners. Go ahead and click that now. This will take you to a page that explains about production partners on Etsy. A production partner is a company or an individual that's not a part of your Etsy shop that helps physically produce your items based on your own original designs. Since Printful will be printing and shipping our items, they'll be considered our production partner. So let's click the Add a New Production Partner button here and add Printful. To add Printful as a production partner, make sure you fill in all the required fields. For the production partner field, I'm just going to type in Printful. You can use this toggle button here to select whether or not to show the production partner name. But if you select not to show the name, you'll have to type in a descriptive title. But for my shop, I'll just display the Printful name. Next, you're going to have to put in a location. For this, I simply looked up the nearest Printful Fulfillment Center that's near me, which happens to be in North Carolina. And the last thing we're going to have to fill in is the About Production Partner section. Simply write a couple of sentences about what Printful does. Under the About Your Partnership section, simply click the drop down menu questions and select the best answers. It's just a few simple questions asking about your relationship with Printful. Once you've selected your answers, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on Save Partner. And voila, we just added Printful as our production partner. As you can see, I currently have zero connected listings, so let's head over to Printful and go through the integration process. So here's the Printful homepage. If you haven't joined Printful yet, make sure you click the link in the video description to create your account. Once you've created your Printful account and logged in, go ahead and head over to your account dashboard. From your dashboard, look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the Stores tab. 
Here's where you can view all the stores that are currently connected to your Printful account. As you can see, I already have one store connected, but now let's connect my Etsy store. If you scroll down, you'll see a section where you can create a new store. Printful offers several methods to build a store, but to connect our Etsy account, let's click on Choose Platform. You'll then be taken to a page where you can view all the e-commerce platforms that Printful can integrate with. If you look at the second option up top here, you should see the Etsy Marketplace. Let's click on Connect. This will take you to the page where you can connect your Etsy store to Printful in two easy steps. If we scroll down the page here, we can see that step one is to authorize the Printful Etsy application. So let's do this by clicking the big red Connect to Etsy button. You can then read over the terms, and once you're finished, go down to the bottom and click on Allow Access. You can then confirm your connection by clicking the button here. And there we have it. My Etsy shop has been integrated with Printful. Now whenever a customer places an order in my Etsy shop, the order will be sent to Printful and they'll print and ship it, making my life a lot easier. But in order for customers to place orders, I'll first have to add some products to my store. So let's create the first product for my store by going down to the bottom here and clicking on the red Add Product button. You'll then be taken to a page that shows you all the different product templates that are available on Printful. Any of the clothing, items, or accessories that you see here can be customized and added to your Etsy shop. As you can see, they have a ton more products than most other print-on-demand companies. But for my first product, let's just start with the men's clothing section. Under each category, you also have subcategories such as jackets, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and tons of other ones. The selection on Printful is pretty amazing, but let's just keep things simple for my first product and go with a men's t-shirt. So we've already selected the category of men's clothing, selected the item as our men's t-shirts, and now we can select our style. Printful offers multiple t-shirt styles, brands, and material that you can choose from. Feel free to browse through all the different styles, but for my product, I'm just gonna go with the men's heavyweight tee. Once you select your product style, you'll then be taken to a page where you can start customizing the product for your store. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you can select the colors that you want your product to be available in. You can select all colors using the box here, or select them individually. After you select your colors, you can then scroll down and select the sizes you want your product to be available in. Just like with your colors, you can select all the sizes or select them individually. For my shop, I'm going to leave all the options available for my customers. So now let's upload a design to my product. To upload my design, let's click on the image here. This should open up your file library. Go ahead and click the upload button and find the design you want to add to your product. Once your design finishes uploading, it should then appear in the recently used files section. Go ahead and hover over your image and click on the place button. Your design should then be added to the print area on your product. You can now rearrange or resize your design, but make sure you stay within the print area box. Printful provides you with tons of different options to customize your product. On t-shirts, for example, you can add designs to the front of the shirt, the back, the outside label, the inside label, the left sleeve, or the right sleeve. Having these different options allows you to create some really cool products. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep things simple and add my design to the front of the shirt. If you like, you can also use the options here to add text to your design or add clip art from the Printful library. Once you're finished customizing your product, Go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on Proceed to Mockups. Here's where you can choose the various mockup styles that you want to display in your Etsy store. As you can see, they have multiple mockup styles to choose from, including with the product by itself and with the model wearing my t-shirt. Take your time and browse through the options and select the one you want to display in your store. Once you're ready, go ahead and click on Proceed to Details. Here's where you can input your product title and add more to the description here. When you're finished with your title and description, you can then scroll down and select to add a size guide to your product listing. For your size guide, you have the option to add the imperial or the metric measurement system. I think I'll just add both. Underneath your measurement systems, you'll see a section where you can add your product tags. Tags are basically keywords that can help your product listing get found in the search rankings. 
go ahead and enter up to 13 different tags for the product that you're creating. After you enter your tags, you can then select the style that you want to display. Since I'm creating a men's t-shirt, I'm going to select men. You can then see all the default shipping costs for each country. And then at the bottom, you have an option to display your products with free shipping. This will hide your product shipping cost on your storefront, and you can simply increase your retail price to cover the cost. Once you've filled in all your information and selected all your options, go ahead and click on Proceed to Pricing. Here's where you can edit the prices for each of your product sizes. First, you have your Printful price, which is the product cost. Then you have your Retail price, which is the price the customer pays, and the difference between the two will give you your profit. To change your prices, simply edit the Retail Price column here. Whenever you adjust your Retail Price, you'll notice the profit adjust as well. If you select it to offer free shipping to your customers, make sure you add it to the Retail Price. You can also increase your profit by a set amount by simply using the box here. If I set it to increase my profit by $2, you'll notice all my product's prices adjust. Once you're finished setting your product prices, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on the Submit to Store button. It may take a few seconds for everything to process, and voila, my new product has been submitted to my Etsy store. Whenever you publish new products to Etsy, they'll first be sent over as drafts. In order to publish your products to the Etsy marketplace, there's a few things that we'll have to do first. So let's click the link here that says Edit in Etsy and finish setting everything up. This should take you to your shop manager on Etsy where you can edit your product listing. As you can see here, the product I just created is currently in draft mode. So let's finish setting everything up on this page here so we can get my product published. If you look down at the bottom of the page here, you can see that the two things that we need to fix in order to publish our product is the inventory and the shipping. We'll go over how to make these changes and check out the other options on the page as well. The first section we have here is our photos section. Here's where you can adjust the thumbnail that displays in your shop and add other photos as well. If you would like to add new product images, simply click the add a photo button here and find the images you wish to upload. To adjust the thumbnail that appears in your shop, simply click the button here and you can easily resize your thumbnail using the slider bar. If we scroll down to the next section, you can see that you can also add a video to your product listing. Adding a video will help to grab customers' attention, and studies show that shoppers are more likely to purchase from listings that include videos. The next section we have here is our listing details. Here's where you can update all the information about your product. Before you can publish to the Etsy marketplace, you'll first have to edit the About This Listing section here. In the first drop-down menu, you can select who made the product, and we're going to select another company since we'll be using Printful. We can leave the other two options as is since it is a finished product and made to order. If you continue scrolling down on your listing details, you'll see another section called Production Partners. You should already see Printful in the Production Partners section, so go ahead and select it here. If we continue scrolling down, we'll see a section where we can edit our inventory and pricing. I'm going to leave everything as is for now. We can then see the section with all of our product variations, the personalization section, and finally the last section we're looking for, the shipping section. If we look at the message at the bottom here, it looks like I'm missing some shipping info. So let's check this out by clicking the edit button at the top right here. All the shipping information is required in order to publish your product. Go ahead and fill out this information based on the Printful Fulfillment Center that you selected. So under origin zip code, I use my Printful Fulfillment Center zip code for processing time, I'm just going to keep it from 2 to 7. And under fixed shipping prices, you'll notice the boxes under delivery time are grayed out. Go ahead and use the drop down boxes to select an estimated delivery time range. For my settings, I'm just going to select 5 to 10 days. Now that we've filled in all of our required shipping information, let's scroll down to the bottom and click on Save Profile. As you can see, we no longer have any error messages down at the bottom of the screen. If you like, feel free to edit or update any other information on the page, but once you're ready, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on Publish. Etsy charges a 20 cent fee for each listing that you add, so if you agree, go ahead and click Publish to continue. And voila, your listing should now be active.
My new product should now be available in my Etsy shop, so let's click the link here to view my listing. So here's my new product that I created on Printful that's now available in my Etsy shop. Now when a customer visits my shop and places an order, the order will be sent to Printful and Printful will automatically ship the product to the customer. Feel free to create more products on Printful and follow the process to add even more products to your Etsy store. So that's a quick overview of how to integrate Printful with Etsy to create a print-on-demand dropshipping store. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.